Hey, what's going on? It's Stephen Platinum, and this is the Platinum Pinfall. One, two, three quick stories about wrestling and my takes on them. All right, let's start with this. Yeah, baby, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Super good friend of the show, of me, Xavier Woods. Look at that, how awesome it looks. In case you can't see it, I'll read it for you. All right. Austin Creed Live Esports Awards 2020 presented by Lexus. Ooh. The winner of the Esports Content Creator of the Year and associated with Esports Stadium is none other than WWE Superstar and Gaming Extraordinaire Up Up Down Down. That is Xavier Woods Channel Esports Content Creator of the Year pretty fucking amazing and to think that the wwe wants to meddle with this nonsense eh, i know people feel different ways about this issue and if we're being honest we probably don't know all the ins and outs of it but it just seems asinine to mess with what this guy is doing nonetheless we're not going to go into that as much as we're just going to congratulate xavier woods austin creed whatever name you want to give them there's no doubt that this is incredibly cool. And, I mean, this isn't an award given by WWE or wrestling. This is eSports content creator. And he's beaten out, you know how many channels there are out there? Oh, my gosh. He should be nothing but proud of himself. I feel proud of him. Um, and it's a great channel if you've never checked it out. A lot of fun. They, do, they don't just do... Um, video games they actually do tabletop games and all kinds of cool stuff so you definitely want to check it out all right let's get to story number two Whew. yeah baby ah oh. southern honor had a problem right joe black their champion let me just say it the guy's gonna win wrestler of the year the guy's been number one in uh two top 10 rankings in a row done by yours truly and it's a bummer he won't be able to do the December show and he's going to take some time to recover from his knee injury. So Southern Honor had a problem. What are they going to do about that title? So Friday, December 11th, Southern Honor Wrestling returns to where it all began, a one-night tournament to crown the next SHW champion. Let me state right off the bat that there are two things that I tend to hate in wrestling, and they are tournaments and battle royals. However, in a swerve and a shock, I kind of love this idea. So 12 Southern Honor wrestlers, six matches, right? It's actually going to be seven matches, but that's neither here nor there. So you're going to have the 12 people matched up. Gary Lamb's going to select six of them. Booker Dillon is going to select six. The winner in each match will advance to close out the night in a six-man scramble to be named the next Southern Honor Champion. So it's going to be seven matches in total, six of the one-on-one -on -one matchups, and then one match with the six winners in a scramble. I'm not sure what a scramble means. Does that mean first person to get the pin wins? Does it mean they're going to eliminate each other? I'm sure we'll find out more. And this is a very smart way to promote it because starting Monday, they're going to release two participants a day. So they're going to be able to promote this thing, promote this thing. There's going to be all this conjecture. Who's in it? Who's not in it? All that kind of stuff. Building up enough momentum that we're going to get, they're going to get us through the holiday season for Thanksgiving. And then they'll have a couple of solid weeks to promote who's going to be in this tournament and their show. It's awesome. Um, I, I would just say for angles wise, and this is just my opinion, if indeed the Lynch's, um, the tag team champions were supposed to be in it, it would seem remiss if they weren't part of this, but it is what it is. We're going to see what it is. Uh, you know, Making uh, making lemonade out of lemons, that's what the great bookers do. Um, and I think Dylan came up with a winner here. Hell, he even makes me like the idea of the Rumble Jack, even though I hate battle royals. Maybe he could do the same with a tournament here. I'm certainly going to give it a uh, the old college try. 
Tickets going to go on sale the day of the show, as they tend to do, ever since they got screwed over by brown paper tickets. F those guys. Brown paper tickets, by the way. Um, front row's 20 bucks. General admission's 12 So they're getting a little bit of a higher dollar amount. But you know Southern Honor is going to give you the best production. They're going to give you the show of the year, um, likely. Um, yeah, I'm calling it. I think December 11th might end up being show of the year, depending on how they book it. They're, they've certainly, like I said, made lemonade out of lemons, but we'll see if they can actually execute it. And who knows? I may be at that show. <sighs> Our last thing. Oh, man. Colt 45, man. Um, so young. Uh, and he died. And it absolutely sucks. I'm going to put a link down below of um uh, of uh, i'll just show this so normally i'm not a huge fan of the gofundme i don't make fun of them like other people do i understand stuff comes up man i wouldn't have been uh i would have wouldn't have been remiss to do one myself at one point during this whole debacle of the last few months but i did not but i don't begrudge people who really need it and uh, it says here as many of you may know John Arith Jr., Colt 45, unfortunately passed away unexpectedly on November 20th after five days in the ICU. Oh my gosh, man. Um, we're looking for help to cover funeral and medical expenses. Any donation would be greatly appreciated. Uh, let me put this picture back up of him. Whew. So I'm going to put that link down below of the GoFundMe. If you want to help out, they would certainly appreciate it. It seems like they're off to a pretty good start on it already, and that's wonderful. Um, Colt 45. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you and say that I knew him. I will say this. My God, the universal thing about him seems to be he was just this incredibly nice guy. And, man, it, doesn't it feel like we're losing way too many of the great ones, the nice ones? Uh, Colt 45, great stuff. Um, sorry you died, man. And from what I've heard... I know that the natural temptation, and I'm not begrudging anybody this, the natural thing is to go like, how did they die? How did they die? Uh, I didn't hear exactly how, except to say that it was not anything. Basically, it was like a freak thing that was not his fault. And it was not about some demons that he was fighting that came back to get him or some nonsense like that just an unfortunate thing and an unfortunate death and another reminder that uh, death comes for us all and some of us it comes way too young and Colt 45 uh, seems like a great guy who passed way too soon and uh, heart goes out to he and his family anyway that's the platinum pinfall um, Survivor Series is tonight. You know, I'm going to get this thing up. A lot of people have noted, man, you're putting up videos like a madman. You damn right. And there's a good reason for that. And the reason is simple. Um, you know, it's advice that I give to wrestling people that I train and other people that I help out. And that's why not you? And I realized the same thing about me. Why not me? Why not me? I can do great stuff as well. So that's what exactly I'm going to do. I'm going to cover all the shows. I'm going to cover the pay-per-views. And I'm going to continue to put out videos on my own, as only I can do. Go out there and get it. Have a wonderful Sunday. And a wonderful Thanksgiving, everybody. This has been the Platinum Pinfall.